This is a review on Movie Electro, 6 inch scale Marvel Legends figure. Uh, before we get to the review, I'll show you the parts it has. It includes the left arm, which has a flame effect, for the Ultimate Green Goblin Builder figure. And this will be a future review. And this Electro figure has quite a few uh, spare parts. It has, this is the regular head, it has this head, which has like a flaming eyes of electricity, and it has two closed fists. You could swap it out for these uh, electrical hands, kind of looking like the Emperor from Star Wars with those electric hands but this is the overall interpretation that I like for the character this head sculpt and the hands like this I'll swap it out in a minute but just to notice as others have mentioned this does not look like Jamie Foxx it might be really tough to see because it's kind of a, a clear plastic but the facial details look like they just based it on some guy. Any guy. But it's not Jamie Foxx. And this is the other head. With the eyes shooting out some like uh, electric thing there. You can see that there is some blue highlighting here on the costume. And the blue highlighting is on the shoulder and the upper body. But it's also on the wrist area. You see that? That's why I kind of like these electric hands on because it matches. Now if you swap it out, if you put the regular hands in, you know, why does it have an ele electric effect going on here of blue? And the hands are very plain. As it is, the figure looks very plain. To me, it's all a black costume. Other than the blue highlight effects, it's all black here. So to add a little more to the costume and look, it's better just to have the electric hands on. But for the review, I'm just going to leave the hands as it is for now. And just show you the costume. It might be tough to see because of all the black, but it does look like a unique sculpt. The sculpt is pretty good, but just overall, I'm not a fan of the look for this Electro. I actually prefer the hooded, jean-wearing look that we saw in the trailer. I would have preferred that for an action figure than this costume. I'm sure to show you the details on it. There was like a unique type of neck sculpting there. That looks pretty cool. And you haven't why he has some of this like uh, little bits on the shoulder. Is that going to have any significance in the movie? He appears to have knee pads and some straps on the side of the boots here. The articulation, good up down range, side to side, shoulders, ball jointed, can go in or out, has clickable articulation, up and down, upper articulation here, has a double elbow, nothing here but the wrists can go in or out, and you can spin it. Upper articulation here, pretty good range. And you got waist articulation. And the hips, side to side, up and down. Upper articulation there. Has the double knees. And has the boot articulation that you can spin. Up and down and side to side.
overall the articulation is nice it doesn't look like Jamie Foxx it looks very generic to face sculpt I'm not so much a fan of this costume and the way it looks overall I would have preferred as mentioned the hooded look for the character as an action figure and the only reason I really bought this figure was for the build a figure part to complete the ultimate green goblin and who knows if the movie is really well done maybe people will like this action figure more but I think at one a case and having seen it on the shelf and it's just like a peg warmer I don't think there's going to be high demand for this action figure in the future it's probably going to be in the clearance section one day that's just my opinion on it and uh, anyway that's the review thanks for watching subscribe comment and talk to you later Electro, Electro, Spidey needs you. Yeah, calm down with those electric hands. You see, there's a big crisis in Spidey's home. The power is out. And, well, Electro, I need you to light up the room so I can finish reading my report and studying for school. And, by the way, Electro, why don't you wear that yellow and green costume with that funky mask? I just prefer it that way.